First, MTP J arthroscopy for proximal phalanx nonunion and debridement. Disclosures as above. Patient is placed supine on operative table with the ipsilateral hip bump. Patient is then prepped and draped in typical sterile fashion. An external positioning arm is placed on the distal aspect of the bed to allow for joint distraction, thus allow for increased workspace and visualization. X-rays of the left foot illustrate this proximal phalanx non-union side, better illustrated above. A dorsal medial portal is made with a simple nick and spread technique, being cautious of the EHL tendon and the neurovascular bundle. A 1.9 millimeter flexible tipped arthroscope is then placed in the first MTPJ to allow for great visualization of the non-union site as well as diagnostic arthroscopy of the first MTPJ. Intraoperative photos illustrate the non-union site above. We then make a dorsal lateral portal with a simple nick and spread technique under direct visualization. We then introduce a 2.5 millimeter shaver to debris the non-union site. We then utilize a small osteotome to mobilize the non-union site. Intraoperative photos illustrate the technique above. We then remove the non-union site in a simple piecemeal fashion. Intraoperative photos illustrate this technique. We then utilize the 2.5 millimeter shaver to remove any osseous spurs and then use the 1.9 millimeter electrocardio device to obtain hemostasis. Post debridement intraoperative photos illustrated above. We then may take post debridement x-rays as well. The portals are closed with simple nylon sutures. The patient is then made weight bearers tolerated with no restrictions on range of motion.